Sometimes I hide under the covers, but I never hide under the bed. Uh, one of the last songs on the, the last song on your record is a, is a good day of a good day to die. What would a good, be a good day to die for you? Well, in that song, I describe a day where uh, where I've I've done the things I want to do, and and I've hopefully lived a life that uh, was pleasing and and um, accomplished some of my goals and uh, have my boots on. You know, everyone wants to die with their boots on. You know, and uh, have a swim in the pond and and just have a good last day. And um, really, any day is a good day to die. Is 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 that uh, is that something you still think a lot about 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 death and uh, because uh, your parents uh, both died when you were uh, uh, I don't know when they died exactly uh, a long time ago long time I was ago. I was pretty young yeah. uh, and so I was kind of forced to confront those things early on and even living on a farm I mean things are always being born and things are always dying I mean uh, so you're you're forced to confront those things early on. And uh, you know you you don't have any illusions about where the meat on your plate came from, and uh, but that's good. You know it's not a bad thing to die. It's just on to the next phase, whatever that is. And and I'm not even a Christian or anything. I don't really believe in heaven or hell. Or I think that um, your energy returns to the earth, and some grass grows, and and um, and that's how you live on. Um, do, do you think a lot about those things? Uh, is it something that comes into your mind every day, or is it something that comes there at a certain moment? Or um, at, at what, what moments do you think about such things? Uh, I, th I think about death every day. Yeah, I, I can't help it. It just um, seems to be a, a prevalent theme in my life. Um, I've just a lot of, lost a lot of people that are close to me, like, like a lot of people have. It's nothing new. It's the most ancient thing there is, but um, it's something I think about a lot, yeah. In a, in a positive way or in a negative way? Uh, in a positive way in that that's just how life has to be and everything that's born must die. But uh, in a negative way, of course, you're going to miss the things that die and they'll never return uh, in the same form anyway. Um, so it's a little of both, but um, that's how it has to be. Is it is it still something that uh, has a uh, puts a big stamp on your music? I think so. I I think I can't help but um, but uh, uh, kind of use those themes in, in my writing. It's just kind of a part of my my uh, my language, and so I think no matter what I write about, those themes will tend to enter into it. Yeah, yeah, because uh, your parents uh, died when you were very young. Uh, how does a little boy, of, I don't know exactly how old you are, but how does a, a young person uh, cope with that, losing both his parents? It sounds terrible to me. Uh, it was terrible, but luckily I have a, um, a good extended family as well. And I've got a brother and sister and a, and a grandmother, and, and so I, I was never without family, even after losing them. So uh, we got closer than ever. We, we were always close, but... Um, I had the good fortune of having a, a support network and, and, um, and, and made it through. And, and the, the beauty of music, too, for being, being a healing factor. Rather than killing myself, I decided to write songs and, and um, heal in that way. And I think that it's worked over the years. And now I feel like a pretty happy guy. Yeah, where are moments in your life you feel uh, absolutely not happy at all? Yeah, I think everyone has that feeling, though. There's, there's those... Um, there's the ditches, there's the peaks and valleys, and like everyone has. And, um, but uh, I, sometimes I hide under the covers, but I never hide under the bed. So as long as I'm, <laughs> as long as I'm doing that, I figure it's all right. <laughs>